I'm sorry. See, Benjamin, that's how you become a good chess player, by the way, is that you're able to induce hallucinations and random mistakes from your opponent that otherwise would never occur. So that's how you become a good chess player. When you learn how to master that special skill, you'll be a great chess player as well. Um, okay. Okay, this is actually kind of problematic. Let's go here and be B7. <laughs> Okay, here we go. We're playing Keshav Gupta. Let's play E4. I'm not even going to look at the board on my first one. I'm just going to play E4. Oh, let's go F4. His knights are coming out too fast. Uh oh, that's step one in the wrong direction. Let's just take the juicer. Go here. I'm trying to end this game fast. Check. <clears throat> oh, this is checkmate. <laughs> tough luck, tough luck. Let's just pre move. <clears throat> okay, play e5, take more of the center. Play e4 here. This game is going to go longer because it's, it's a closed structure, so there will be more piece play in this game. This here is not a GM he's playing, uh, you think? Let's just guard the pawn. I'm going to start pushing my pawns up the board. Uh, I'll just be a Bobby Fisher and take the pawn. When in doubt, play like Bobby Fisher. <clears throat> Whoa, thank you to P Mark for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much to P Mark. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna I'm just gonna roll with it. I don't know if this works, but let's roll with it. Let's go check. Go check. Thank you to, oh yeah, big big uh big time for the 11 months. Thank you so much. Um, where's the mate here? I guess I'll just go check and take. There's no actual forced mate, so this should be good enough. Yeah. <clears throat> and now we just go check mate. Game over. And we win. So let's keep, uh, let's keep moving on. Very, very, very exciting game. Who do we have was playing in a tough match? We, I guess we have Benjamin Box. So let's watch Benjamin's game. Um, let's watch Benjamin's game against Georg Meyer. They're still in the first game. <clears throat> that was a very exciting game, yeah. Yeah, Blitzstream played the first part. We drew our game. Yeah. All right, so what are we looking at? So we win our first match. So we're going to play the winner of the game between Chess Brainiac and Devesh Parashar. So it looks like the first two matches are pretty smooth. So we're looking at semis and the semifinals and the finals are where it's going to be, uh, where it's going to be complicated. Why won't my hair go correctly? There we go. All right. Okay. Anyway, um... Yeah, so, all right, let's see, uh, <laughs> see what happens here. So it looks pretty, uh, it's pretty balanced, objectively. Not super exciting for either side. Balance, same material, same number of pawns, pretty complicated. Hey, Juniper July, thank you for the eight months. How did, uh, Blitzstream not qualify? I'm not sure. Uh, evidently, he didn't finish in the top, um, he didn't finish in the top, uh, top 16. <clears throat> I guess. Not sure how, but yeah, he just didn't. <clears throat> anyway, let's, uh, yeah, so let's keep watching. Let's see what happens here. Why is C7 highlighted? Because it's highlighted because I was looking at it. Hmm. Okay. 
So queen f6 played here. Um, I guess queen f6 is a move. Maybe takes and d4 is a move here. Yeah, I know it's still sticking up. It's really annoying. Really, really annoying. Is Bach winning? Um, he's a little bit better here. A little bit better because he's got the pawn f6 was a thorn. <clears throat> but it's probably still balanced. I expect I expect Bach to win though because of the time situation. Well, maybe not because now you take a d4 and rook f5. Because you're going to take, you're going to check, and then you're going to swing the rook. But knight a4 is actually a very good move. Rook d6. Actually, knight a4 is a terrible move. Now, yeah, actually, no, terrible. Because f6 is hanging and your, your knight is on the rim for no reason. Bach put his knight on the rim where it's dim, and it had no good reason for going there. Okay, so he plays f5. So. Whoa, they need a Brewster Boo for the six gifted subs. Thank you so much to Brewster Boo. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Brewster Boo. So I think this is probably the closest match, objectively. It looks it looks like the closest match, at least. Okay, so takes. Take on h4, of course. h3. Rook a3. Uh, you can go like king h8, maybe. King h... Okay, king e8. Just trade. No, oh, Benjamin's going to lose. Wow, so Thomas... Sh or not Thomas Chesky, sorry. Meyer beats Benjamin in game one. You got Land Freddy for the prime. They Gab DK for the six months. Thank you so much, Gab DK. I appreciate it. Thank you. Next, Arena Kings, I'm beating you. All right, man. Good luck. You got a Gab DK again for the six. Sorry, I know that's rep repetitive, but thank you so much anyway. I guess white goes to e4 here. I don't know. You try to take more of the center. It makes some sense. See, what are what are the standings actually? Do we have do we have updated standings? Still, yeah. Most games are still going on though. Actually, let me adjust it because because uh, we are going to be playing on uh, this in the quarter. So let me move it over. So here, probably knight h4, bishop h3. Okay, it goes e4, so if takes, I guess just takes. What is this opening? This is a uh, Fisher Random 960 chess. Why does it why doesn't Levy play uh why doesn't Levy play play events like Arena Kings or Title Tuesday? I mean, because frankly, it takes a lot of time to play them, I think. And secondly, I mean, he's probably not competitive in them. I mean, he probably doesn't realistically have a chance to win them. So, I mean, to spend hours upon hours playing an event where you don't have a realistic chance to win, I don't know. That doesn't seem like... That seems like minus EV, objectively. Especially when you could use that time and make videos, like, for YouTube. <clears throat> like, I just mean, it's just pra being practical. Like, I mean, it's just like, why, why would you do it? Minlay, Minlay did not qualify. That's true. Minlay didn't qualify, yeah. Yeah, and you guys are going to be like, oh, I'm, I'm roasting, but I'm not roasting. It's just, I mean, Levy is an international master. He's not a grand master. There are five grand masters in this event. Like, for fun, yeah, but the problem is, like, that's the thing, though, with chess. If you want to play chess for fun, you just play Blitz. You're not going to spend, you're not going to spend hours, uh, hours upon hours doing it. I mean, that's the thing. Like, like, I mean, are you really just going to spend hours upon hours? Like, I don't know. I don't, what is f five by um by uh really he plays c three oh wait that's a rook on two and not a queen sorry okay so Bach might win this game actually need a Coles for the six months thank you so much appreciate it. Levy says he wants to be twenty five one gym and retire stream it's funny. Uh, there are seven GMs, G seven GMs in the top 16. Uh, were there? Yeah, yeah. I beat Minlay by one placement. Oh my gosh, Minlay missed by one one spot. Jeez. 
Yikes. That's insane. Did I hear about the Haitian president's uh, assassination earlier today? I saw that there was some news on it. I didn't, I mean, I, I don't follow politics super closely for the most part, but I, I did see it, yeah. It looks to me like Benjamin's going to have to go King C7 to guard the bishop. Okay, trades goes bishop six, but now white can go knight e4. I think white's kind of okay. It's slowly the wicks for the six. Yeah, but all I know is that they're basically saying that that it was uh, people who spoke Spanish, right? He, they were saying it was like foreigners or something. So I don't know if they're implying something like there's some interference from outside or whatever, but I don't know. I need a Colby Farron for the eight months. Thank you so much. Yeah, like I'm going to do that. That, that. that would mean that I get no invitations to top level tournaments ever again. Like, seriously. But thank you for the suggestion. All right. Okay, so I guess E5 maybe. Okay, I think I think Meyer's going to win this game. Black is a bad pawn structure here. Um, so, yeah. Let's see. They also said it's DEA agents from America. I mean, okay, who knows? That feels like a topic for Hassan to do to 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 jump on, not me. C4, C4. Okay, now not so clear for white. C4 is a good move. Okay, bishop h6, bishop f4 maybe, maybe d5 at the right moment. I would just bring the king in maybe. Yeah, just ignore that pawn, just run with the king. I think bishop f4 is a mistake, but I think king g4 is a mistake. I think he should have just taken here. Bishop b8, bishop b8, king d7, knight's trapped. Just takes and king d7. Takes. Wow. Huge win for, uh, for Benjamin Box. This match is now 1-1. There's going to be a third game. Are there any GMs from Haiti? I don't know. I'm playing chess Brainiac. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yep. So what's happening? So D4. So I guess why we'll play E4 next move. Does that red safe behind you hold the legendary 30 million? Exactly. Yeah. Yes, it does, you guys. It's full of gold bars. It's full of gold bars so that when, you know, when the world is ending, I can just, you know, you know, I can bring in my duffel bag, throw the gold bars in them, and then just get on my motorcycle, drive, drive to the, drive, drive to the, you know, the private airport near here in, in Orange County and get on my private plane and, and, and leave. Okay. So it's one, one here. Uh, I guess d6. Okay. I don't know if I love d5. The bishop can get into c5 here, maybe. Okay. Bishop b6 is a good move, though. Yeah. Or buy a ticket to Mars. True. Yeah. Maybe if, maybe if you have Jeff Bezos' money, you could do that. You mean when Elon stops his rocket so you can hop in? Right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> True. Um, I'm playing a sub of the channel. Really? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Is it bad matters to flag over the board? Over the board, it's much harder to flag, though, I would say objectively. Much harder. Yeah, is it time? Thank you to Chess, Brainy Chess Brainiac again. Okay, so much. Thank you to Chinese Priest for the Prime. Thanks so much to Chinese Priest. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Thank you for the resub. Anyway, all right. You need a die clip for the prime. Appreciate it. Thank you so much to, to DY Cliff. Appreciate it. Thank you. Position looks uh, pretty bad for, uh, for Meyer, I must say. 
e5 queen e5 this looks really ugly queen e5 you have to take and get castled okay so you castle king side of course wait did Meyer move his king or not no he didn't move his king yet right no he didn't queen d4 knight f5 maybe we go check I like knight e6 conceptually king can't castle either way the queen holds both castling squares knight f4 oh knight f4 looks very dean uh knight f4 trade trade rook knight f7 though and black can still castle next move it's like it's hanging by a thread here for uh for Meyer it's yeah but you take him black's gonna get castled next move knight f7 queen f5 and castles just castles right you can castle here can't you just castles uh castles I don't know if I understand. Castles in black was much better. Just castle. He should have castled without rookie one. Maybe Meyer forgot that he could castle there. I think Meyer had to have forgotten that he could castle, because otherwise he would have. And now he's actually just going to be worse in this end game. Big mistake by Meyer. Big mistake. He he might lose now because he forgot to castle. Queen takes d4 and white's just up a juicer. Very, very bad now. I could have the bar on, but I, I just don't. I, I just don't want to right now. Just rookie one, queen a two, rookie seven. That's still probably bad for black. Yeah, rookie seven, of course. Rook f seven, rookie eight, and then queen e four, queen e five. Maybe you go rook g eight, and you hope that you get a check and take. No, but now queen b one. Now uh, Benjamin went wrong. Maybe rook c seven it goes here. This should be a draw. Rook d6. Rook d6? Wait, rook d6 is very strong. There's a mate threat. You have to go here and now after takes, you're down a pawn. Yeah, rook takes c6. And if rook d8, there's rook h6. Rook, rook h6, gg. Rook h6 is puzzle rush. Meyer is going to lose. Queen c4. Queen c4. Yeah, this is over. You just. Queen h4 is a nice, clean way to win. You can also just trade the rooks. Everything wins, but you kind of want to be a little bit safe here. I would probably just go rook h4, but th this also is good enough. Just b4. Queen e5, and then b5. Queen holds the squares, and it guards. It holds all the dark squares for the check. Yeah, just checking queen c6. Maybe queen c6. Yeah, queen b8. And now queen c7, another nice move. Hold all the squares and support the pawn push. And that's game over, by the way. Black can't stop the pawn now. So Meyer loses. Meyer loses to Benjamin Bach. Yeah. Yeah, Bach wins the game. Very impressive. Loses the first game. He fights back really hard in that second game. Should not have won that game, but he gets the win, and then he, he just pounces in the third game. Especially when Meyer forgot to castle. Meyer forgot how to castle there. Meyer had castled. I think he would have won that third game. But he uh, failed to castle. He played rookie one. And then once Benjamin got bishop e2, c4, picture perfect, picture perfect by him. Okay, so I think we're going to start in a second, it looks like, maybe. Maybe not. Let's see. Please don't lose to Terry. I don't think I'll play Terry until the finals, most likely. I'm in the running for more sandals. Yeah. Yeah, we're in the running. Um, long way to go, of course. Um, let me see when we start. We should be starting. Oh, there's still 1400s playing each other. Oh man, really? Who are the 1400s? <laughs> I guess. Uh, single elimination. Yeah, but it's the best of three games. I think. I mean, okay. Let's see. What What do we have? Do we have updated standings? Uh, we have um. So it's just uh, which one isn't clear yet? Vukwar is it Vukwar and Sergey Zhigalko? I think that's the one that we haven't we haven't seen yet. Zhigalko, but that game they're not playing right now. So I I mean, Zhigalko just won. Okay, so yeah, okay. 
some unpleasant pairings on the bottom half of the draw like as no no pairings are easy uh but very unpleasant you have three of the four strong gms i think in the bottom half you have sergey jagalka you, you have renato terry and you also have benjamin box so three three tough players in the bottom half so it's a little bit it's a little bit it's a little bit easier in my half not easy because i i mean i have to beat chess brainiac and Evgeny Tomashevsky, but it, it's definitely a little bit, little bit preferable to the bottom half of the draw. Renato's an IM, but he should be a GM. Thank you to Destro for the five months. Thank you to Turd Ferguson for the six. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. But all super GMs are in the top half. Yeah, but I just mean like it, it, that, that means I have to get through one to get to the final versus like having to win like two or three tough matches. Like if you look at the at the bottom half, like Renato, is, I mean, Renato Jigalko is a heavyweight matchup. Bach probably is a pretty easy one here against his next guy, but still it's, it's slightly preferable, I think, to be in my half. What's for lunch? I already had my lunch. I just had some noodles. Arm wrestle Bjergsen? Why would I do that? I don't know. Does Bjergsen lift, the, lift that much or not? Next round is in three minutes. Okay. So I guess I'll just talk to you guys and chill till then. I really wish Twitch Prime starts in India, man. The problem with, with a Twitch Prime, though, is how do you... um? Yeah, Bach already played Meyer too, don't forget. But how would how would you do it then? Because it's a different kind of... um. You would have to change, like, the... You would have to change the pricing somehow. I mean, maybe you could just say, like, you could just say, well, it's the India IP and you have, you have Twitch Prime, like... It's just like 60 cents or something, but still, I, I suspect that would mess with the that would mess with like the revenue models if you have to like add a whole separate set. But maybe not. Who knows? Uh, Bjergsen carried a team for a whole for five seasons. That's true too. Yeah. Yeah. No. Of course, you have Amazon Prime, but it's not connected. Do I have any memories with libraries? You mean where you would go in with your you would go in and check out books? Like you mean like go. Go find the aisle, like find the author by, by like C's and B's or then find a numbering. You mean like an actual library? Is that what you mean? Is that what you guys mean? Yeah, I mean, I remember when I was young, like uh, I would go there. Thank you to Alpha Smart for the three gifted subs. Thank you so much to Alpha Smart. I remember when I went to, um, when, I, when, I, when I was growing up in White Plains, New York, they had the public library. And yeah, I would go check out a couple of books because um because that's what you did back in the old days you would go to the library check out the book you know try to read it in a couple of days to a week and then go back and uh, or return it never heard of one what is a library uh so bad so bad just so bad i'm actually tempted to read some of the books that i read when i was young like there there were some series that i liked like i think there was uh my brother was into it but i read a little bit of animorphs that was one series i read a little bit of you know, neat knee gopes for the five uh, there was also um, Hardy Boys was like another one that I read. There's Sherlock Holmes, like a lot of like mystery detective type things. I wonder how they would be, uh, how they would be if I looked at them now. Like if I if I looked at it now, how would I? How, what would I think about it? Like I, I don't know. There's also the other one. There was um, Goosebumps. Yes, R.L. Stein, right? R.L. Stein. That's that's the other thing that I like too. Yes, R.L. Stein. Yeah, yeah. That was the other. That was the other thing that I really that when I was young I, I liked. Yeah. <laughs> but I wonder, like, if I if I if I went and bought a book or I or I found something like like one of those series and I read it now, what would I think of it? Like, I I, I don't know if they would hold up. If I would look at, it, I'd be like, oh my, I'd be like, oh my this is so bad. Okay, let's play off four. I don't even need to look at the board. Okay, let's go knight f three here. Go d three. My knight's misplaced. That's the only problem here. Go here. I'm gonna go here in e four maybe. I mean, he has a problem that, like, he can get castle, but queen a5 is actually a big issue here, I think. I mean, I can play a4. Let's just get aggressive and attack him. Let's attack this guy. Okay, I'm going to go here. Go here. I'm going to go c4, fix the weakness here. Maybe I just go, like, eh, let's go here and just castle, maybe. I think I'm just going to develop. Maybe I'll go here in Bishop H4. I'm not actually playing this game very well. It's not what I really wanted. Takes I take. I want to go Bishop H4 maybe at some point. Maybe Rook F1. Very cloggy-ish position. With Knight B8, logical move. 
Oh, actually, I'm going to lose this pawn at a6. I really need to step up and stop, like, talking and just focus on the game. It's actually very problematic for me. Um, let's go d4. What is his rating? I forget what his rating is. Go 92, maybe, 94. Okay, takes. Let's take the pawn on d5. I guess I take on d4 here. 2400-ish, okay. Take. Got good knights. My king is still not great, though. Neither is his king, honestly. His king is pretty bad, too. So let's take and go here. I can still castle both ways, which is important. Oh, that looks bad. I think I have this. I think, actually, this is getting really bad now. I think I have queen e2 and rook c1, even. Looks very problematic for black. Just go here, rook c1 next move. There's bishop c5. I think I'm just going to castle. Oh, wait, if I castle here, does he have a trick? No, he doesn't. What do I castle? Wait, I can't castle? Did I move my rook? Oh, I moved my rook. Oh my god, I moved my rook. Oh, I didn't realize I removed my rook. Oh, wait. Okay, that changes everything. I, for some reason, actually, I, I should have just looked at the board. I moved my rook. I didn't realize I had. Okay. Well, I can still castle queenside. That actually changes a lot because, I mean, that makes a huge difference. Good check. Makes a big difference. I mean, I guess my king is just safer. I can just go like rook a3 or something. Go queen b5. Let's go for the kill. Multiple checkmating patterns existing. I think I can go here to hit the queen. Bishop guards the rook, of course. He hasn't developed two pieces, which is why he's going to lose the game. I have checkmate in one. Classic lolly checkmate. Go again, next game. Let's just develop our pieces. Uh, and I'm going to play... Yeah, I don't actually like my position here, I have to say. I'm going to go e6, maybe. Got to stop f4. This is actually kind of problematic. I'm going to play here in 85, maybe. Go here. Get the knight to the center of the board. Go B6. Consolidate my chain. Knight G4, maybe. Maybe some pressure on this diagonal. I don't know how much pressure. But let's just go D5. Let's open the center. He's got a very bad bishop on B1 here. His bishop on B1 is not in the game at all. So D4. I'll just go maybe here and trade. I want to go here and hit the knight. Go here, try to trade some knights. What am I even doing in this game? I'm playing this very poorly, I think. Takes with a rook, which I guess I'm, I'm actually very happy to see that. Because now after bishop e5, queen d6, I stabilize. I'm doing very well here. Go here, hit the pawn, pressure in the center of the board as well. Move the king out of the way, so bishop b3 is not a threat. Here. C4. I'm going to play not g5. I'm going to go here, maybe bring the queen over to h3. I really would like my knight on c6. I'm going to go b5, open it up. 
go here. Maybe I take, maybe I rotate my knight around. If I can get the knight to e5, I should be very happy here. It goes b4, which I think is a mistake. So I just go d3 and rook d8. So what does this actually do? It doesn't do anything. Maybe. Although I have tricks, I guess. King takes. Really? Okay, let's trade. Let's go here. Hit the bishop. Go here. I'm threatening a4 to trap the rook, which is guarding the bishop. He can't move. I think this is winning, unless I'm missing something very obvious. Who's there? Oh, he's got this actually, which wait, no, but this doesn't work. So I can still I can still excavate him, I think. Wait, do I take or do I check and go 95? Go check first. Still play a4. Also just go 95. I mean there are many options here. Yeah, I think I go 95 next move. It was king g2. I think I should go knight e5 to hit the rook. But now I have a4 to remove the rook. That's step one. I think I take and go like bishop c3 maybe. Or do I go here right away? Probably I should take and go here to trade some bishops. He's also got like no time here. Literally has no time. Go here. Go here. Go here. Target the bishop. Bring the king in. Got no time. Now right, we can just kind of outweigh him now. Okay. Get the dub. 2 0. Pretty good stuff. And we move on to the next round where we'll be playing against Evgeny Tomaszewski. Actually, those matches already ended. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All those, all the, we have one tough match, and the rest of the matches were basically just landslides. Pretty funny. Okay, so as you see, like most of the matches are already over. Pretty funny. Wait, one second. Okay, so we're still playing best of three, you guys. So it's still, still quite a ways to go. Uh, but we are into the semifinals. We will be playing against um, Evgeny Tomaszewski. We'll watch the other matches going on this game between Renato and um, and Sergei Zhigalko. It's one one right now. So quite, quite, quite a bit to go. GG, thanks so much, Car. Good luck in winning. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. How was my how was it with Salesforce? I enjoyed I enjoyed yesterday immensely. Um, after my stream, I, I had sort of a we were just chatting. I was just talking to someone at Salesforce, sort of explaining, you know, my background in chess, everything that's gone on. I did a short simul. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. And as someone who's actually, as someone who's been a fan of Mark Benioff for a long time, it was really cool to do that. Who is Salesforce? Actually, you know, it's amazing. The number of people who seem unfamiliar with, with a Salesforce as a company is kind of astounding. Like I asked several, I asked several people and, um, and they, they were like, uh, several people I know, I just said I was doing this, this event with Salesforce. Like, and they were like, what's a Salesforce? Is that like a group or a meeting of people who get together? And I was just like, it's, it's a gigantic company. I mean, it's like a 250 billion market cap, I think. And uh, it's just funny. To, it was just kind of funny. Let's see, what are they doing today? CRM. They are down half a percent. Half a down, half a percent. Wow. Not bad. It looks like a pretty dry day, though. A lot of very weird stuff going on, I've noticed. A lot of weird stuff. Why is Palantir down 7%? That makes no sense. Um, okay, what's happening in this game is 1-1. One, one. Actually, I realize since we're probably going to be starting pretty soon, I'm going to take, take a break. I think and go use the restroom before the next match. So I'll be, I'll be right back in a second. 
Thank you to Cheese. Thank you to Chess Beast for the nine months. Thank you so much, Chess Beast. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. All right. Okay. Thank you to uh, Ferdinandsky for the two months. Thank you so much, Ferdinandsky. Appreciate it. Thank you to Deepon Opener for the 14 months. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Deepon Opener. Once again, you guys, if you do have an Amazon Prime, if you do use Amazon Prime, you can connect Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and subscribe free to one channel every single month. So that means if you're getting the free shipping and you're spending $100 or more in um, North America, you can subscribe free to one channel every single month. You can take five bucks out of Amazon's pocket and put it in the pocket of hardworking streamers. So keep that in mind. It does not auto renew. So make sure to use it when you have the opportunity. Thank you, Snake Eyes, or uh, sorry, sna yeah, Snake S's for the eight months. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, you'll get my Prime on the 224th. Very funny. <laughs> Good one. But yeah, make sure you use it because even if it's not on my channel, you put it in the pocket of streamers who are working really hard. Uh, even if some people think that it's not hard work, being on for like seven, eight, nine, ten hours every single day is not easy. It's very, very difficult. Um, so, so that's what I would say. All right. So what do we have here? Does Amazon even make money on Prime? I would assume they do, although I honestly don't know. Uh, no more Bezos. Yeah, it's actually interesting. I was thinking about that as a strategy. Uh, like Microsoft, obviously, when when uh, when when Steve Ballmer quit the stock, just everybody cheered like insanely because they knew that things were finally going to be better. And I take see through is winning there, by the way, for black, but it was missed. Um, but like, you know, uh, uh, Microsoft jumped, went through the roof. You saw uh, Google, for example, when when Sergey Brin and Larry Page basically announced they were quitting, the stocks are going up as well. And if you also look at, uh, and then if you look at uh, Amazon, Jeff Bezos retires. Maybe it's not because he retired. Maybe it's because of all the Pentagon stuff too with the Jedi contract. But as soon as Jeff Bezos quits, the stock goes up 5% immediately as well. So it's an interesting strategy to keep in mind down the road, potentially, depending on what happens. You know, if you're, if you're like, if there, if there's some of these behemoths, like, I don't what's a, what's another big behemoth? Like, I don't know, like Apple, although I guess Steve Jobs was, uh, was Apple. So I don't know. I'm trying to think of another company where someone's iconic. Actually, Salesforce is iconic, for example. Uh, Tesla, another one as well. Yeah. They had Drakedriel for the Prime. They had a Gixer for the Prime. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, Zuckerberg's actually, Zuckerberg's a good example. Yeah. Yeah, Zuckerberg's a good example. Okay, what happened? They drew the game. Wow, so they're going to play a Bullet game. Oh, man, Bullet is pretty gross. 1-1 one, one of Bullet is really, really gross here. Keck W. Yeah. Thank you for the 10 months tar, tar kill. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the reason was. Um, but, but I, but I, I, I mean, I assume it's like when you, when you're there for so long, at some point there's like, I don't know. There's, there's a point when you just have to, uh, I mean, it's, uh, you know, enough is enough. Palantir and AMD also have CEOs that people believe in more than they should perhaps should. AMD is an amazing company. I don't know why it's down like 5% today. I'm not happy about that. Why is it down 4%? There's no good reason. Is, is Nivda down 4%? Nivda's only down 1.5%. Weird. Apple new all-time high. Yeah, Apple's been, Apple's been tearing it up. I sold, I sold a bunch of puts on that earlier, earlier, earlier this year, so I'm very, very happy. Uh, just free, free monies. Okay, so what's happening? 96? Oy, oy, oy. This is, oy, 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 oy. This is a huge bishop on on h1 this looks very very poor looks very very bad yeah why are amd and nivda down but newegg's up like 400 percent. i don't know what's going on with newegg i did not see any news so i don't really understand that one right now that's up 150 percent like why why exactly well I mean, yeah but 150 percent is not like a 20 percent move is one thing but 150 percent on no on no news uh don't my eyes feel strained by the light no because i'm not looking at the light i'm looking i'm looking below it the light's not it's not in my line of vision um new egg is offering to build pieces on any parts you want for 99 dollars. okay and that's worth that's worth this that's worth let's see what's the what's the market cap that's worth um that's worth that's worth like 13 billion dollars or more that's worth like 15 billion dollars i mean come on 15 billion dollars also what happened to this position what did white just do here what did white just do White was winning and now somehow white's losing Or wait, no, white's still winning. No, white's still winning. Or is white still winning? Wait, takes and king b8? No, but now queen c4 and you just resign. Yeah, yeah, you had to go king b8 and then it was still kind of interesting. But okay, Renato's going to win. Um, You have to be careful. There is no, but b5 just rook c6. Rook c6. Yeah, rook c6 is just very clean. 
If Hikaru wins the finals, then I'll get 10 subs. That would be cool. Awesome. Um, but anyway, yeah. So what happens? A6 is played here. Uh, okay, this is just winning. Just winning for Renato. That's literally the only news about Newegg. So because they offer to build any PC you want for $99, if you give them the parts, they'll build it for $99. Bucks. That's like, that's worth $15 billion. I mean, give me a break. I mean, like, what? Like, I still don't understand what you're saying. Are you saying that if you tell them which parts? Like, I, it also, it makes no sense to me. Like, I just, I don't understand that at all. Thank you to the, the 3D Barons for the Prime. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you so much for 3D Barons. That just makes no sense to me. I just, I just don't understand what it, what it was saying. So anyway, we're going to start the final. We're going to be playing, or the semifinals. We're going to be playing against Evgeny Tomaszewski, a grandmaster from Russia. A very strong chess player. Buy the full set of parts from Newegg and they'll assemble you for 99. That's a big issue for a lot of the retail market. So you're saying if I, if I buy the parts for like five, for like three, $4,000, Newegg will assemble it? And that's worth, that's worth $15 billion? I mean, come on. That sounds ridiculous. That sounds, that sounds ridiculous. I mean, you can also just build your own PC. You can just build the PC yourself. Like what? I mean, that's worth $15 billion. I mean, are people on, are people on, I was about to use a certain word to start with a C, but like, I mean, seriously. Give me a break. Give me a break. Okay. Anyway, let's, uh, let's, let's watch. <laughs> let's, let, let, let's, let's start our next match. Um. It rhymes with Jack. <laughs> yes, it rhymes with Jack. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's insane. <laughs> I mean, you can say it's worth something, but $15 billion in market cap to, to off, offering to buy it for or build it for 99 bucks. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. That's ridiculous. I, I have no words. I just, I just have no words. I just have no words at all. Okay, next game. Uh, we should be starting. Let me see when we're starting to be precise. Okay, three minutes till games. So two minutes until we start our games. AMC Mark Cab is insane. Sure, sure, of course. But I mean, still, yeah. I just mean, I, I can't believe this. That's, that's just ridiculous. Yeah, it's still 6757, 24.878 billion. Insane. All right. In the meantime, you guys, two minutes. Then we'll start. Uh, we'll start. We'll, we'll start the uh, start the semifinals. Don't hate me, man. I'm just messing. Oh no, no. I mean, obviously, it's just bizarre. Where can I buy shares in Hikaru Inc? You can't do it yet. Maybe down the road you'll be able to buy shares in me, but not right now. Also, you know what else I would say? Like, I, it's not that I trust myself to build a PC. I know, I know, I know quite a bit now, but I would say that even though I don't, even though I don't necessarily trust myself completely, I know a lot of people in tech, and I feel like everybody's got that one friend who who could also help them build it. Like. So it's not one of those things. It's just like, I just don't understand the point. The car stocks are down today. Yeah, most of the stocks I own are actually down. My biggest holding is up 12%. So I guess that matters. But, um, but still, Logitech is good. Restoration hardware is good. Pretty much the rest of my portfolio is pretty bad, though. Pretty bad elsewhere. Anyway. But yeah. Yeah, and I mean that's the thing. Like, even if even if you're unsure about it, even if you're a little bit unsure about it, everybody's got that friend who can do it. Like, everybody's got that friend who can help you out. So that's also why I don't even understand it. Anyway, all right, we should have started a match. I don't know what. Um...
Glad you think I have friends. I, I just feel like everybody, there's got to be, everybody has somebody they know who's like, who's a tech wizard. Maybe that's just me being, a, you know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong on that, but I just feel like everybody does have, everybody knows someone. I don't even mean a good friend. I just mean someone that you know. I don't mean like your best friend. I just mean, I feel like somebody, somebody has, you know, there's got to be someone that you know. We've graduated to the lazy generation. Ah, that's also a fair point. He isn't wrong. I know like five dudes. Mm, five dudes who could put together a computer. Nice. It's like having a friend with a truck. I get that. I'm trying to think out of my friends. Yeah, I know a couple of my friends who have big trucks or they have, they have Jeeps. All right, let's go. Game one, important game. Let's start with D4. I think this is right. I don't actually know if it is. I think I think this is actually kind of I might have gotten lucky. I think this is, might be one of these positions that's problematic for black at the start. I think e4 is fine. Obviously take, I think d5 should be fine because I have knight e3 or knight d2. F5, I think f3 is fine. There he goes, knight g6. So I can obviously take the pawn, but I don't think I want to. Um, knight e3 makes quite a bit of sense to support the center. Oh, wait, I was about to play bishop e2 and lose. Wait a second. Okay, let's slow this down for a second. Wait. Okay, I think I'm going to go here. Okay, let's see what he does. So I always have knight f2, I think, at some point. Might have misplayed this, though. This actually looks kind of scary. Like, maybe more than kind of. This looks maybe really scary. But if I take and go bishop c2, hold the pawn. I think uh, Tomaszewski might have made a mistake here. Takes, okay. I mean, I guess I just take with the pawn, of course. Castle. I think Tomaszewski misplayed this. I think I'm okay now. He's got he's got some weaknesses. If the knight gets to f5, I should be better. Okay, so I, of course I move the king out of the way. Now I have knight f5. So I actually think he's misplayed this. Doesn't mean I'm winning or anything. I still have a bad bishop on a1, but I shouldn't be in danger of losing. There is a world championship for Fisher Random, yeah. So he takes. Not surprising. He'll probably play like queen c5. A castle. So I can play b3. And also go knight g3, knight f5. This actually makes a lot of sense here. Okay, queen c5. I think I'm going to go back to e1. I need to get b3, bishop b2. And if I get 1, 2, 3, I'm just better. My bishop is still on a1, which is not good. But if I get knight, knight on f5, that's also very problematic for my opponent. Goes rook f2. I mean, I have knight f5, but I think... Okay, knight f knight f5. He just takes. I can always play b4, which is a move. Um, yeah, I think b4 is actually a good move with bishop b3. Go here, target the knight. There. I mean, I can obviously play rook f1. Knight f5 is a move that I can play too, but I think I'm just going to develop. Maybe I should have gone. I probably should have gone knight f5 there. Mistake by me. Okay, let's do it now. So here, I guess I hold everything. Because g3 is actually a big problem now, too. He's also thinking way too long here. He's working eight. I can play a3. I also have g3. I'm just going to go a3 to consolidate. Makes sense. Just hold the pawn. Now I can move the queen. There's knight d4. Wait, that's just a free pawn. What is that? I think he missed this. And now there should be some way to angle this. Wait a second. There should be some way to angle this. Let's go here. I mean, this diagonal looks very problematic. D5. Okay, that's a good move. Very logical. Not have allowed that. 
Can I go queen c5? Let's think for a second. Hmm. I guess I'm just going to take rook f2. Let's trade some rooks here. We just take. Go here. Hit the queen. Uh... Wait, I have to be careful how I play this. Let's go here, maybe? I want to go rook g4, maybe. Takes. Of course, I take with the king. Okay, I'm way up on the clock, so I, sh I really should win this game now. Let's just go here and rook c3. Yeah, he resigns. Let's keep going. One up, one down. Two more to go. Or one more to go, I should say. Play C4. Play F5 here. It looks wrong, though. I don't think that's right. I think I have to go C5. I'm going to play E6, maybe. Go here. I think I'm going to play f5. I don't know if it's right, but it looks kind of interesting. Might not work, but it looks very interesting as a move. This d4, kind of a lot. That's a very logical move. I'm just going to go b6 and knight f6 next move. He actually has a problem with his dark square bishop, I just realized. Let's go here. He has a big problem with his bishop. They can't develop it, actually. This is kind of a real problem. So I think if I go here and I just get castled, I might just be better. Kind of a real problem. They can't castle this way. I mean, he can maybe play h3, but I mean, it looks very dubious. So he does castle, all right. So I guess I'll take then. Why not? Go d5, just open up the center here. I mean, this should not be good for him. Really should not be good. But maybe what I did wasn't right. I feel like it was not right. Hmm. Let's go here, hit the bishop. Well, I've got tricks with bishop g6 now as well that he has to contend with. Maybe it's okay. I think actually what I did is probably objectively fine. My instinct says I'm much better here. That's my guess. I think I'm just better. I think I over... I, I kind of panicked. Okay, so he takes... A bishop g6 is a move. Oh, he's f4. So wait. Uh, okay, let's just... Okay, if he takes, I just take and go back, and I'm fine. Plays f3, which I think is wrong. Um, do I go f4 or not is a question. I feel like I'm better here. I just have to play this precisely. Bishop g6 is also not the move. Um, how do I reroute? I know I'm better here. I just have to find the right routing path. Um, actually, I think I'm just going to play this simple. I'm just going to put the bishop on f6 and, and take the diagonal because he doesn't have a bishop here to oppose my, my bishop. Yeah, let's just drop back. A e5 actually is a huge threat now. Still kind of a threat. I mean, bishop g6 is also a move, but you know what? It's not really the time to get super insane, so let's just play a5, a4. He can't really move the bishop. I mean, he's got a lot of problems here to deal with. Some moment if I get e5, he's going to have to resign. So, looks bad for a while. It looks very bad, actually. It goes rook c1. Only move that I think kind of makes some sense to take. Takes with the queen. Wait, wait, wait. That's a mistake. E5 and knight. Wait. I'm going to get a fossil here. This is game over. 
game over. Maybe I have better than a fossil. Actually, I have better. Because if he takes, I take, and he gets mated on E2. I have better than a fossil. This is game over. There we go. Two zip. We move on to the final, you guys. 2-0. Very good. So if he takes, I have the very nasty knight takes pawn. I fossilize the queen and the knight here. And if he tries to take my juicer, I go check mate. Because now the queen and the bishop hold each other. Um, so... You can't really do anything. You can move the knight here, but again, like knight f4, another fossil, same kind of idea is good. Knight c3, a clean fossil, winning the queen with the check is also good. So he went 2-0. Good stuff, good stuff. Very, very good stuff. We're going all the way. Well, we're gonna we're gonna find out if we're going all the way or not. We're gonna be in uh we're gonna be in the finals. That much we know. So we're we're gonna watch the other match when it begins, which should be starting momentarily, I believe. But very, very good stuff. Very, very good. Not complain at all. Okay. There we go. All right. And let's watch the other match. So we have Renato. His match has not started yet, or has it? It has started. Okay, let's watch the game. Is 960 really so different? It's quite different, I would say. Yeah, it's quite different. Quite different. But again, a lot of the basic general themes still exist. That's that's what I would add. A lot of the general themes still exist. So it's not not too. Uh, oh wait, sorry, I need to close the board. Sorry. There we go. Yeah, so it's not too different. This is actually a very very slow game here. These guys are playing. If it wasn't different enough, it would have faded. That's true. Yeah, no, that's a good point. I think Benjamin is a little bit better here. I don't know how much better, but very slightly better. Although now. I don't know. Bishop b5 is a problem. Maybe you should develop your bishops. Maybe bishop... Well, but there's always bishop e6. Not an easy position to play. Difficult position to play for both sides. What is after Rainy King's Blitz puzzles? Uh, we'll do some puzzles. We have a couple of news things we need to cover. Um, uh, so we'll, we'll be we'll be covering that as well. Uh, there there were a couple things that I had I had on my agenda. So we'll we'll get to those afterwards. We have Ali Reza stuff to cover as well. There were three things. There's Ali Reza. There was um there was Ali Reza. I want to cover that. There was something with Fide, something a new league that they've started. That was the second thing. And then there was a third thing that was not puzzles. I don't remember what it was right off. But there were three things that I that I wanted to cover. So yeah. Okay, Benjamin's okay here, but the knight is jumping. The knight is coming to d three. So it's it's very uh very tricky here. Am I gonna cover Hans? Uh not 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 likely. I mean he won the event. Yeah, not much else to be said. Uh okay, bishop c2, maybe f5, knight f4, bishop c3, very double edged here. Wardell Valorant stream. Well, you know what's funny about Wardell? Uh, if anybody watched Wardell's stream last night, you would have seen me actually just standing on the other side of the window looking in, watching his stream. Like, I don't know if anybody clipped that or anybody noticed it, but when, when Wardell was streaming last night, uh, when did, Wardell was streaming, what, does anybody know when Wardell was streaming? I can probably pull it up. Let's see, was Wardell streaming? Let's see, when was he streaming last night? Uh, let, let, me, let me go to his videos and see if I can find it. Let's see if I can find it. Just running through a stream to see if I can spot it. Can someone tell me what time he started his stream last night? If you could tell me what time he started his stream, I would be able to tell. I would be able to spot when it when it was around. And I'm just I'm 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 going through his VOD trying to see if I can spot it. It was 16 hours ago is when he started his stream or when he ended his stream. That's what I wasn't sure about. He started 16 hours ago. 16 hours ago, so that's what, 1 p.m. minus, that, that would be 1, uh, it would basically be minus 8, right? Minus 8 hours, so that would be 1 minus 8, so that would be, what, like 5.17? Yeah, that would be like he started like 5.17, so it should be quite late in his stream then. Let's see if I can spot myself. I don't see it right off. Yeah, I mean, if so, if, if any of my mods want to run through his VOD and, and look, I mean, it's only it's only a two hour twenty three VOD. 
But I'm not spotting it right off. But I did look in when he was streaming. I know that. Like 8 o'clock Eastern. Or 8 o'clock Pacific. But I, I, I don't see it. Yeah, I, I don't spot it, but anyway, whatever. Yeah, whatever. I just know there was a, there was a period when he was streaming last night. There was a period when he was streaming, and I was I was peering in through the window, but I don't know if any of the mods can figure it out or not. But yeah, yeah. So so there was a, there was a short period when I was when I was uh, staring through the window. Thank you, Tyronicus the Prime. The three months they get gluten free for the five books as well. Who are we talking about? We're talking about um, Wardell, the Valorant streamer, member of TSM. He was streaming last night from TSM, and. Um, and uh and so uh basically i just peered in probably for like a minute or so i think it was probably like one minute i was just staring through the window what map was it i don't remember what map it was unfortunately i'm kind of surprised that no one noticed it though i guess no one on a stream noticed it like he was definitely streaming because I, I he had stream labs open at the time like he was 100 percent. he was 100 percent streaming at the at the time but i i can't find it right now so so be it yeah, whatever. Am I sure the cam was on me? Yeah, I know it was because literally I was right over his shoulder, right, right, you know, as I'm looking through it. So anyway, uh, one other thing, Renato, right now. Um, so yeah, someone can figure it out later. Not not right now, but someone can figure it out. You know what's going on? So Renato puts knights in front of the pawns here. I guess it's gonna go like a four, a five. Interesting options. Would I prefer Bach or Renato? Don't doesn't really matter. Yeah, not a big deal. I mean, I might, I might actually look at, look at it later to, to see, see if I can spot it. But right now, it's, it's all pretty good. Anyway, all right. You found it, you think? Oh, did you find it, Jacalyptic? Okay, can you put the just put the link? It'll get it'll get crossed out, but you found the link or you told me where? Where'd you think you found it? What's the timestamp? Twenty nine oh one. Okay. Let's see. Oh yeah, yeah, you found it. Yeah, <laughs> you found it. Yes, yeah. So here we go, you guys. This is this is exactly it. Um, let me let me just let me just show you. Oh, wait, this is the wrong scene. Um, I guess I can do it like this. But you'll see if you look behind Wardell, you can see you you guys can see that I, there's someone looking in. That's me right there. That's me. That's me. That's not a minute. Yeah, it was a little bit less than a minute. Is it less than a minute or did I come back and look again? I don't remember. But anyway, yeah, that, that was me. Yeah. But no no one is no one in the stream actually noticed. No one in the stream noticed. Like I I'm I'm looking at the, the, the chat. Nobody noticed it. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Anyway, um, but yeah, so that's that, that's what was going on. All right. Good one. Nice facility, yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. All right, you guys. So this is one zero. This match is ongoing. We're probably gonna be starting the the final match soon. And it's gonna be five games. Uh, so I'm gonna take a short break, go to the restroom one last time before we uh, before we finish it out. So I'm gonna be back in a second. This because we're gonna start pretty soon after this. Yeah, I, I lost a uh, I lost a match against Renato in um in I believe it's the semifinals maybe about three weeks ago. So yeah, there was a semifinal. You guys got a Magnus Chess app ad. Nice. Uh, what's going on? Renato is... There's just a bishop and the black king is... Oh, wait, what? He's just winning? Oh, yeah. It looks like this, this went very... Okay. Very weird. Okay. All right. So we're going to play Renato in the final. Yeah. I mean, Queen A8 is the last hope that Benjamin has that he'll blunder. But I mean, even... Uh, there is a rookie too, maybe. Uh... No, but you just take a7. Just take a7. I mean, okay, but 
Oh, wait, sorry. This is 3-0. Wait, this is 3-0. Wait a second. This is 3-0. Check? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's 3-0. It's not 3-1, so anything technically could happen, but I don't think that there's too much time. I didn't finish the trick speed. Run. I might do a little bit of that later, but not right now. Bach is going to lose, yeah. Um, so I play Renato in the final. It's going to be a best of five, so it's first to three wins. So just good chess, good things, good news. Oh, but wait. No, Renato's not going to win this. Wow, Benjamin survives somehow. <laughs> Don't call it a comeback, but hey, that's a magic draw, and he has one more chance. He has one more chance. I think it's one and a half half. So Benjamin has one more chance if he wins. If he wins the last game, I mean, he's he's gonna be in it. That's unbelievable. Wow, that's crazy. That was crazy bad technique from Renato to not win that. That was very very bad technique. I mean, Benjamin has one last chance now. He has a chance. Got a chance. Renato must be on tilt. I doubt. I doubt it. But still, c4. You could also take. He could. He should have taken here and just gotten the uh, gotten the bastion on d5. All you need is a chip and a chair. Exactly. Yep. Chip and a chair, and you're good to go. I don't. C4 is a very bad move. I would have actually taken on f6 there. Yeah. So you're saying there's a chance, pretty much. I mean, there is a chance. There's a chance here. Benjamin could win. Uh, G takes F6, okay, yeah, but White could have gotten a knight on D5, I think. But I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Yeah, it was a draw. Insufficient material there. Okay, Queen C2 is a move as well, by the way. You can just uh, Queen C2, Knight F2, Rook F1, and you're fine here. Yeah, okay, so he trades, so Queen F2, Queen C2 is a good move. Knight F2, Rook F1. I don't like that because now you can't castle the king to the king's side, whereas black can. Knight d4? I don't know. That's maybe a very good move. Again, I feel like Benjamin missed an opportunity. He should have gone queen c2 here. 100%. He missed a big opportunity. Okay, so e5, f4 maybe, or f3, f4? I'd play f3 and d3. Ah, knight b4 is a nice move too, though. Very tricky. But see, black can castle and white can't castle. That's why rook f1 was a bad move. Okay. Because Benjamin's going to have to castle queen side. Yeah, I mean, it's probably what he wants in a game where he must win, but you'd still rather be castle on the king side, but you can't do it because you, you, move, you moved your rook. Have I ever played Hustlers in New York City? Uh, not for money, no. I mean, I have played, but none of them will play me for money because obviously they, they all know who I am, so there's no, 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 no interest. I had to beat Russian Paul and avenge Botez. What, did she play someone and lose? I don't understand. I miss something? I don't know. Like I, I haven't looked. Yeah, I mean, literally, they won't. They just won't play me. Like seriously, they, they know who I am, and that's not me flexing. I'm just saying that's just how it is. It's been many, many years, many, many years. Oh, she lost. Okay. <laughs> well, actually, isn't Russian Paul like a legit? Isn't he like a legit twenty-two or twenty-three hundred? Am I wrong? Pay them to play you. Pay them. I mean, come on, I'm not paying them. It's funny, like one time, the the most recent time probably was like a good six or seven years ago that I tried it in Washington Square Park. And like, it just didn't, um, yeah, it just didn't, you know, it, like it's one of those things where it's like, they, they were like, you have to pay to play. It was one time they didn't know. And I'm like, I was like, dude, like I, I basically said like, you know, I'm not giving you money to play me a game, but if you beat me, I'll give you money. I think I said something like, if you beat me, I'll give you a hundred bucks. Cause it's just like, just like, yeah, and it was just one of those things. Uh, Benjamin, by the way, is again losing, but he has play here, at least in the center of the board. So there is there are some chances, maybe. Yeah. I won't believe Jan's latest tweet. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. And 95 here? 95? Uh, no. No, what is e5? Thank you to Dr. Kian for the 16 months. No, Benjamin, what was e5? He had to go knight e5 and queen d5, go for the attack. He's 
trying to get tricky here. We're trying to get slippery. But I think rook takes e5 just wins. Okay, t trades the rooks. Okay, maybe there's some trick. Queen e4, queen e7. Queen e7. Queen e7. Oh, wait, wait. I think Benjamin might have tricked Renato now. Renato just blundered this. So now there's a knight c There are some serious tricks here. You have to go like queen c8. I think it's the only move that... Queen c8 is the only move that doesn't maybe even lose for black here. This is tricky. He finds it. I mean, there's still are tricks like knight d5 and queen d queen d6 now. D7, queen d7. Renato probably will win because he can still get the rook to h8 and push that pawn. That's the one hope. H4. Yeah, Renato's gonna win here. I think. I mean, the problem is the draw is also not good enough for Benjamin. H3, H2 just wins because you can move the queen to b5 at the end. Queen b5? Ah, uh, then a4 maybe. Queen d5? Benjamin's got to go faster. What's he thinking about? Queen d5, only move. Knight c6? Oh, you take it. Wait. Uh, do you have a... Uh, I think Benjamin forgot that you can't push the pawn because of the pin. He's got to move, though. He's just got to move. Check. Check. Check, king a4. Yeah, he's going to lose now. I mean, Renato's technique is too good here. Also, Renato, for Renato, a draw is fine. More, most importantly, a draw is fine. A draw is fine for Renato. So yeah, Renato will just eat, eat all the pawns, and then he doesn't care if he flags. All right, so we're going to play Renato in the final. All right. So, yeah. Poor Benjamin. I mean, he got really close, but he was too slow there at the end. He was just a little bit too slow. If he had, like, if he had moved a little bit quicker, I think there were a couple of moments. There were two moments. If Benjamin had been quicker... When he played, um, when he played this position, he used like 10 seconds. He needed to go queen d5 here. He had to play queen d5 instantly, and he spent like 10 seconds. That was a huge mistake. And then the second mistake was there was a moment, I think, a little bit earlier where he also used a lot of time. I think he used a lot of time. Was it on this move? There was some position right around here that I felt like he used too much time as well. There were like two moments, but yeah. Benjamin is tilting badly. Is he tilting? Okay, <laughs> maybe. I mean, who knows? Anyway, all right, so we have one. So la last match is coming up in a second. Will I be solid or attacking against Renato? I would say that in, in general terms, uh, 9 6, you don't really have the option. You just have to play the board. You have to play the position that you get. You can't really like steer the game in any given direction, um, is what I would say. Oh, he's, he, he, was, he was punching a table? Really? I don't believe that. I think you're just trolling. Benjamin seems like a very calm guy. I don't see him doing that. Hard, hard, to, hard to believe. So, anyway. All right. Yeah, he did, but only a bit. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I doubt it. He did three backflips out of pure frustration. That's funny. <laughs> good one. Good one. You guys are making jokes now. He, uh, yeah, he, he, he pulled out a, uh, he unrolled a yoga mat and is meditating. Good one. Hey, take my revenge against Renato. Well, I actually beat Renato last week, I believe. Or did I beat him last week or not? I, 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 maybe I didn't even play him. No, I did play him, right? Because he beat Bortnik, didn't he? Or am I insane? Maybe I'm just insane. I thought I beat him, like, last week. Uh, thank you to X Belivo for the Prime. Thank you so much. Thank you, X, X, uh, X Belivo. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. All right, so we should be starting in um, just a second, I think. Get back to 3200. Well, this is not my blitz rating. This is 3100. This is just a 960 rating. 
חצי. All right. So it's best of five. So it's not best of three. And I, I am I must say I really like my odds in best of five. Best of three is always shaky no matter who you play. Um, but in best of five, I do feel that I'm I should be a pretty big favorite. I do like 960 actually. I like 960 quite a bit. It's one of my favorites. All right, let's see. Um, so it should be starting very shortly. He knows what he meant back to 3200 chest 960. Oh, yeah, 960, 3200, right. Yeah. This is the last matchup for uh, Rainy Kings today. Yeah. Is 960 important for improvement? I think 960 is actually one of those things that's very difficult. Uh, very, very, very difficult to, uh, to, um, to, to play well unless you're quite advanced. Hmm. What are the odds we have in normal position? One in 960. Or one, yeah, one in 960 are the odds you get the regular starting position. We could do 960 viewers, viewer arenas from time to time. Yeah, it's always possible, obviously. Um, yeah. Do I think Vichy can win the Croatia Rapid and Blitz? I would say unlikely, but it's possible. You never know. He hasn't played in a long time, so he could be really, really hungry and really, really fresh and, and inspired. Yeah, normal position is included in the 960, you guys. Yeah. One in 380 if you count the king-queen reverse position. Oh, true. That's true. Yeah, one in three eighty. Good point. Yeah. Vichy's doing well. Yeah, first day. I mean, of course, of course, he's very fresh. I, I would expect him to be doing well. But one day, it's very hard to base off of one day. If Vichy's doing well after three days, then then I think I say anyone's doing well after three days is pretty fair. But after after three games, just one day. I mean, I would expect I would expect Vichy to be very fresh. Actually, um, let's go G three. I don't know if this is a good move. Play E4. I don't know if E5. E5 is actually probably a bad move. Think about how to play this. I think I'll go here and maybe Bishop C3. Not thrilled with this. It's a very dry kind of starting position. Really not thrilled by this at all. It's so flat. There's knight d4. I mean, I can obviously try to trade. I think I'm going to just try to trade some knights here, maybe. There's knight f5. I can obviously go queen f2. I can also go g4 here. Let's see. What other options are there? I don't know if takes is good, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because I'm kind of curious. If he takes with a pawn, I get bishop b4. I'm really not convinced that this is actually good for black. It's a very interesting spot. So he takes with a knight. I wasn't sure if he would do that or not. I'm playing knight e3 here. I mean, I don't want to take. The question is, is there some way? Also, I think I'm going to just go knight e3, maybe knight c4. Pretty dry, though. It's a very, very symmetrical position. Not a lot going on. Now, I can obviously take here if I want. This is the big question. Do I take or not? I think I am going to take. Which, because which way does he take? Does he take with the knight or the pawn? Takes with the knight. Okay, I kind of expect that. Okay, so I take. I'm going to go f5 here. We had a Benjamin for the raid with 92. Thank you so much to GM Benjamin Bach for the raid. Tough luck, man. Very tough. Uh, very tough result. Sorry about that, man. Going f5 because I'm trying to complicate matters here. Okay, I mean, he plays rookie 8. I can play rookie 1. I can also go knight d5. I don't want to. Let's go rookie 1. We're both going to end up castled. Again, very, very dry position. Not exciting. Very flat opening. Really didn't get much from this. I, mean, I can obviously trade if I want. 
Wait, I might have queen h3 here or something. I feel like there should be a trick. Wait, it feels like there should be something here. Queen h3 castles. I don't know. I mean, I can obviously just take. But very hard to prove this. Um, don't know if that makes sense. I think what I'm going to do is... This is 3-0, right? This is, yeah, this is 3-0, not 3-1. So because there's no increment, I need to move a little bit quicker. If there's increment, I can move a little bit slower. Without increment, I need to speed it up. I can't be super slow. So the tempo matters a lot. I have to master the tempo. How do I stop being trash and become good like you? Man, you're, you're, you're a good chess player, seriously. Chill. Take a deep breath. Meditate. I mean, seriously, you're a very good chess player. Uh, that's just a blunder. Speaking of blunders, that's just a blunder. I think that's actually GG because he's getting checkmated in one on C7. That's just GG. Okay. One up. I'm sorry. See, Benjamin, that's how you become a good chess player, by the way is that you're able to induce hallucinations and random mistakes from your opponent that otherwise would never occur. So that's how you become a good chess player. When you learn how to master that special skill, you'll be a great chess player as well. Um, okay. Okay, this is actually kind of problematic. Let's go here and bishop b7. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like, I've had that happen many times though, where it's like, when I play like some 2700 guy, like, or, or like I watch them play, I'm like, I see these blunders. I'm just like, what are these blunders? Like they would never make these blunders against, against me. And then you see it elsewhere. And you're just like, what, what's going on? It's actually a scary position. I'd be kind of careful how I play this. Renato keeps doing this weird night maneuver. He keeps doing these night maneuvers. They're not objectively good, but been able to make them work so far. I mean, probably it's because of piece placement is such that it it's kind of does it's different. And I can obviously take. I think I will just take. I don't want to play f6. I think I'm just going to go here maybe. Maybe I hit the pawn. I mean, if I can get developed, I'm probably better. I can always go f5, but f5 feels a little bit weak. A little bit loose. But you know what? I don't care. I'm still going to play it. I'm going to hope that it's playable. And I'm not sure it is. Okay, he goes queen g5, which I'm very happy to see. Because now I can reach an end game. I go here, I reach an end game. I, I should be very happy here. I mean, again, I'm up a game. So, like, I don't mind if I draw this game. I just need to take the, take the risk out of the equation where a loss is not a realistic result. I mean, I'll obviously, I take with a pawn. Wait, wait what? Wait, I, I can't pre-move. Because I pre-move at auto castles, you guys. Do you see what happened? If I pre-move that and he goes rook h1 castles, rook g1, I get checkmated. That's pretty funny. I can't pre-move the capture there. That's real. That's actually very funny. My, meanwhile, I'm completely fine in this game, by the way. 91. I mean, this looks great for me. Let's just trade more pieces. Again, I'm not too concerned about, um, about a draw. I just need to take the risk out where I can't lose the game. That's the key. And I'm, I actually, I think I'm, I'm probably winning here. Yeah, it's an ambiguous pre-move. True. Good way of putting it. In a deed. In a deed. Hmm. Plays h5. That strikes me as a very weird move. I think I'm just going to go here in knight g4. This looks quite bad for white, actually. I'm just getting rook g8, rook g5. I don't understand this at all. Rook d1. Okay, it just wants d4, but so what? Uh, Wait, rook g5? There's f4. I have to be careful how I do this. Knight g4 almost threatens me, but let's just go, go knight c6. So let's just keep it really simple with knight c6 and just rook g5. Next move, just very slow. Goes e3. Okay, so I guess I just go here to hit the pawn. Looks very bad to me. Maybe there's some magic here, but I'm not really feeling it for Renato. I don't see it. Goes d4. That's a good move. It's just how do I play this? I, I'm better here, but it's not easy to prove. It's not easy at all to prove, actually. Let's 
take. I have knight e5 maybe in rook h1 or knight e5, knight g4. Plays a3. That's actually a very bad move. That makes no sense at all. That's just a terrible move. He had to go d5 right away. Because now I'm going to get knight d4. If he goes knight a3, I can trade, for example, but I can also just go rook h3. Now the question is, do I, you know what? Let's just trade. I'm up a pawn. Oh, wait, why did I do that? That was stupid. Okay, let's go back. Let's see. Go here. So I can just take, take maybe. I also have knight b4 as a move. Wait, knight b4? Let's see. Oh, wait, no, knight b4 has got knight e5. Jeez, that would be a big, big blunder. If I take and go knight b4, swing out four knight c2, two knight a3, two knight e1, e5 knight e2, rook a2, knight a1. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. Check and take. I hope this works. This might be wrong, but I think it I think it works. So check and go f4. Because now I've got the h pawn running and I can tuck the bishop on f5. He can never trap the knight. Go c5. He wants me to take. I kind of don't want to take. I can just go b5 maybe. Yeah, this just looks great. And if f3, I have knight e3 and then I hold all the glue. He goes f3, so I go here to hit the rook. And then I go knight d5 check and I take. And this this should just be I should be able to mop this up. Let's just take and go back. Yeah, this should just be pretty routine. Yep, there we go. Two up, two down. We need one point out of the next couple games. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna play play d4, maybe e4 next move. Okay, so now he's trying to actually turtle a little bit. He's trying to turtle and play more safely. Um, let's just develop. Why not? Take. I'm just going to flatten the board now. I'm just going to flatten the board completely here. I mean, because if he, if he can beat me out of this flat end game, so be it. Like, he deserves to win. But I don't think he can. So I'm going to play the meta here, basically. Probably he'll go bishop f8. Plays h5. Okay, not the craziest move in the world. Now I can play a4. I'm just going to go here and knight c4 maybe. I also have knight b5 as a trick. Okay, go here, force knights off. Again, I'm just trading down the juicers because I don't think he can beat me in, a, in an end game. I just really don't think he can beat me here. Go here, knight e3. Again, if it's a draw, it's a draw. But I, it's a draw, so be it. But I, I'm just going to flatten the board. Uh, let's just go... I mean, is f5 really a threat is the big question. I, I'm, not buying, I'm not buying any of this. Let's go here. I can obviously go knight d5. Yeah, I'm just going to flatten the board here. I'm just going to flatten it. Take. And now I'll just go back. Yeah, I mean, I can just go back. Yeah, this, there's just no way he can win this. I think it is Zen fusions for the prime. I mean, this is the main thing. Just flatten the board. Make the draw. It goes g5. I mean, that's fine. Doesn't really concern me. I can just go like here. There's just nothing you can do to win this game. I'll go b4. Put the pawns all in dark squares. Again, I know it's a little bit boring that I'm playing like this, but it's how you get the job done. Yeah, now, I mean, everything draws here. I mean, you know, which one do I want to do? I guess I'll just go here. Go here, cl clog it up. And it's just a draw. Yeah, and the whole position is just locked up. There's nothing, nothing you can do. Again, we have two minutes on the clock. This is kind of poor sportsmanship here. Yeah, okay, there we go. All right. Got the draw. One more to go. I lose. I don't care about Elo. This is about the prize money, guys. If I have 20 seconds, I could see it. But with a buck 40 on the clock, it's just kind of, it's kind of silly for both of us. It's more, it's more important to win. Winning is the key. 
Because she, I do have f5 here, which is interesting. But I think I'm just going to go f6 to hit the pawn a2. Let's go e5 here. If f4, I will take and go knight b6, I think. Play z3, logical. Okay, I think I'm going to put the knight on e6 to control these two squares, basically. It goes knight g3. And play knight b6. Yeah, I think actually knight b6 makes a lot of sense here. Let's control all the center squares. Uh, there's no final game. There's no game if I win this one. Um, and I'm wondering about d6 or c5. Maybe just... No, let's just go d5. I don't know if it's right, but it looks re pretty reasonable. Goes there. I can play c5. I mean, very aggressive move. But you know what? It's not really... It doesn't feel like the time or place to get aggressive. So I'm just going to castle. This doesn't feel like the right time to be aggressive. I'm up, I'm up two and a half, half. Like, what's, what, what's, what's the need? I did give him f4, which maybe I shouldn't have, but I'm not really all that concerned by it. I can obviously just scoot our king out of the way. No, con, no, no worries. I control the center. And you can try d4 maybe, but if I take with bishop d6, it doesn't seem bad. Plays h4. Okay, so I think Renato's getting a little bit... He's kind of starting to feel the squeeze a little bit of the, of the situation. The h4 just does not look like a great move. I think I'm going to go do something weird here. I'm going to play bishop a4. It's kind of a weird move. But I just want some space so I can move the queen and the rook on the back rank here. Probably a bad move. But it, it creates some space. Maybe some weird stuff on the, on the queen side here. I can obviously go c5 at some point. But mainly what I want to do is I think I just want to go here. Keep the bishop here where it's kind of pesky. And maybe I can trade and go bishop d6 at some point. I'm also trying to open up this line. We take, so I take, of course. Because g5, I, I hate that move. I think that's a terrible move. Go g6, take away the square. I can play knight c5 here. I can also just go bishop d6. Knight c5 looks pretty simple, though, just to trade pieces off. Again, what I'm doing here is I'm basically taking the oxygen out of the position. I'm just trying to flatten the, flatten the board. Uh, so I will continue to try to flatten the board with bishop d7. Just queen h3, so I take, of course. I can obviously trade. I mean, again, like, it's going to be very hard for him to win this, but I'm going to, again, I'm just going to try to flatten the board. I don't care if, if, he, if, he, if he can beat me in the end game, he deserves it, but this is not a good end game for white. Maybe not an end game, good end game is the wrong way of putting it, but white has pawns that are weak on the, uh, that are weak on the king side, so he can never really chip the structure. So I'll go c6 here. I did give him d4, but I have bishop d6. Let's go here. Again, I'm not really that concerned. I will just trade off material. Let's go rook f8. If he, if he thinks he can win this end game, good for him. But he kind of, I don't think he can. All I need to do is not lose the next two games. Draw is fine. Win is fine. I need one draw out of the next two games. That's it. He goes bishop e1. That, that also shouldn't really concern me. I think I can, again, go knight c5. I can also maybe put my knights on better squares. Like, let's see. Let's go back to d6. Makes sense. Go here. Put the knights on e6 and d7. Just move my king over. I just really don't see how white can ever win here. I can always go d4 if I want to. I'm just going to go d4 here. I know it's not the ideal placement, of course. Because he, he can might maybe maneuver. Might not, that probably was not a smart decision by me, but I think I'm still okay. Go here, and I can rotate the knight. Go here. Go here. Open up the... I mean, I don't see any tricks here, so there's nothing that he's really angling for. I mean, I'm just going to go like... I'll go here, maybe knight c6. There's just really nothing that that he can do. I don't think. Okay, I'll go here, maybe bishop a5. Go here, maybe in c4. Again, just. A draw is totally fine, so I don't mind. I'm, I'm going to probably try to win this game, though, at some point. Here. 
Okay, I'm probably gonna go like here. Actually, I shouldn't have done this. Oh, I've got to move quicker. He's. Draw! There we go. Game over. Game over. I probably could have tried to win this, but time's getting low, and he's trying to cheese me on the clock. So, the draw, and we win the match. Pretty clean. Two wins, and then I, then I just flatten the board for two games. And two draws, and we win the match. 3-1. It's all over. Two wins, two draws. That's it. It's over for Renato. And we, we avenge uh, that horrible loss from two weeks ago, or three weeks ago, and we win the event. We get our $500. Or 500 sandals, as we like to call them. So very, 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 very good result. Um, there will be flattening. Yeah, I mean, I think here at the end, there's probably some way that I can play for a win, undoubtedly. But it's like, there's just no need for it when a draw is good enough. Um, just no need. That, that's, that's, it's just that simple. The back-to-back, -back, yeah, the back-to-back, back-to-back uh, -back champion, right, exactly. Back-to-back-to-back um, -back -back five-time champion, exactly. All right, you guys, we got the win, pretty good stuff.